News on the Go. Syracuse police have identified the man shot to death on the city's south side late last night, 36-year-old James Mike of Syracuse. Officers responded to the shooting call in the 200 block of Furman Street just before midnight. There they discovered Mike's body in the road. Investigators are continuing to put information together. The activation, the homicide act investigation is active. They're asking you to call with any information to the tip line 315-442. 5223. In Cayuga County, the sheriff has identified the driver killed in a crash yesterday on Route 370 in Ira, right next to the Cato Meridian Middle and Elementary Schools. The victim here is 71 year old Carol Mastowski of Wolcott in Wayne County. She veered off the road and hit a tree. She was taken by helicopter to Upstate University Hospital, where she later died. Deputies do want to hear from anyone who may have witnessed the crash. The number to call in Cayuga County is 315-253-6562. The Marcella School District is offering counseling today to classmates of 16-year-old Matthew Norris, who died in a single car crash early Sunday. Any students or staff who need to talk about it will be able to meet with grief counselors until 3 o'clock today at the high school. They'll also be available from 8.30 a.m. to 3 tomorrow. Norris would have been a junior this fall. He was on the wrestling team and a past member of the local Boy Scout troop. Kate? All right, well, this is live Doppler 9 right now. Things are pretty quiet. We have a couple of very, very spotty showers over parts of western New York and the western Finger Lakes. Otherwise, we get a couple more hours of dry time. We'll have clouds around kind of filtering the sun a little bit. Our temperature is topping off around 80 degrees. And once we get closer towards dinner time, 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, that is when our chances for rain and some thunderstorms will go up, but they will be very scattered. For the overnight, we'll still have some showers, especially north of us as towards, say, Oswego and the Watertown area. Lows will be in the 60s tomorrow. Just some widely hit, scattered hit or miss showers and storms. Uh, there will be plenty of dry time tomorrow. Highs in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We do have a better chance of rain and also feeling pretty oppressive again with the humidity on Wednesday. A lot of moisture around. We are expecting soaking rain with some possible localized flooding on Wednesday. We're watching that day very carefully. We'll still have a few showers lingering around Thursday and Friday. And so far this weekend doesn't look too bad. We should have highs though. In the mid to upper 80s, it is going to feel pretty warm out and also humid, but at least at this point, we should be dry. Much chance for rain today? Like how much chance? Later on, maybe? Later on. Basically in Syracuse, like 8 o'clock on. Okay. So Hopefully most of our dry. day, not too bad. Good. Thank mm -hmm. you, Kate. We're off to a good start for a Monday. We appreciate you joining us here at noon. Updates anytime you need them on the weather and the news at localsyr.com. Have a fantastic Monday afternoon.